All right, what's up? Real quick, I love these vlogs because I can just record myself and I don't have to write anything and I can just watch a movie and everything. But honestly, I don't not want to watch these two movies. I had to watch them. I felt really obligated. Uh, I went into the movie not wanting to see it, so I kind of didn't like it, but they were kind of cool. I guess you can say they were interesting. I don't know. But yeah, I watched the two movies. I was going to do two movies in one vlog, but I was like, nah, -uh, I'm going to do them separately. So here I am about to do this and I don't want to do it. Just saying. All right, so the first one was the Jane Austen Book Club. So I wrote down some notes, like all the names, and I compared them to like characters from her books. Um, so basically, the what the movie was, it was six people that created a book club, and they each like they read the the six novels of Jane Austen, and then they it was like a book club. They talked about it and stuff. And um, yeah, as the as the as time like progresses, like as time elapses in the movie. Uh, each of the six members um, in the book club develop characteristics similar to those of uh, characters in Jane Austen's books and they uh, begin to react in, uh, in very similar ways to things in their lives. So the six members of the book club were Bernadette, Sylvia, Jocelyn, Prudy, Allegra, and Greg. I wrote them down in the paper right here. So I'm going to go one by one. Uh, Bernadette is a female who wants to see people happy. That's how she is. Um, so I compared her to Miss B like a mixture of a Miss Bingley and Elizabeth. Um, they may be similar to other characters from other novels, like Persuasion or whatever other book she wrote. But I only read Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, so I'm gonna try to compare them to those characters. Um, they may not be that similar or anything, but I still try to make the connection just because that was part of the assignment. So Bernadette is the one who wants to see people happy. So I, 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 I compared her to Mrs. Bingley with a mixture of Elizabeth because Mrs. Bingley wanted to see all her daughters married and uh, that's kind of wanting to see all people happy. And then Elizabeth was uh, the one that wanted to see her sister happy, Jane, and she wanted to uh, have uh, she wanted to see Jane marry Mr. Bingley because that was like her source of happiness. So we kind of see Bernadette being very similar to Miss Bingley and Elizabeth because of the hopes that she has for other people. Sylvia was the very clingy girl on like she was really clingy on the belief of love and devotion so i compared her to elizabeth and marianne with uh in respect to like their feelings for other people like their their loved ones uh, not their loved ones but like the romances because elizabeth and marianne were really uh caught up in the moment with one with willoughby and one with wickham and um they they were really devoted uh to them like uh emotionally uh even though things went wrong, we still see that devotion to their uh, romances that uh, in the novels. And then next was Jocelyn, who was the friend who denied her own feelings, but tried helping uh, her friend Sylvia like find her match. Um, so this, I feel, is a very clear and perfect example. Hold on, let me take this piece of gum out. Is a clear example of Elizabeth. Like I feel like she's basically Elizabeth, not on all aspects, but on the on this certain point where uh, Elizabeth was helping Jane. So Jocelyn is she she's denying her own feelings and trying to help Sylvia help Sylvia find a match. So Elizabeth, a lot of the times her her uh, affections or uh, uh, relationships with others were kind of like uh, she maintained them kind of like a, a secret to herself. Uh, and but she always tried helping Jane like with with Mr. Bingley and and find her love. So in that sense, that's how Jocelyn is. Like she doesn't really she puts her feelings aside, but she's trying to help her friend find a match. And then we got Prudy, uh, and she's um the unha she's unhappily married, and uh, she kind of has a thing for this guy called Trey, who's a fire. So she's trying not to succumb to her feelings for Trey. So this is uh, another uh, person who I felt was really like really resembled or embodied uh, Elizabeth with Darcy, like their relationship. Because Elizabeth did not want to like Darcy. Um, we've seen how like at first she hated him. But then she started like feeling something towards him. But she didn't want those feelings to be true. Because of what she believed Darcy to be. So we see that with uh, Prudy. Because she's unhappily married. Um, and she doesn't want to fall for Trey. And Elizabeth. I'm not. She wasn't married. But she didn't want to fall for Darcy. So in that respect. They're both uh, pretty similar. And then we have Allegra. And uh, she meets lovers doing adventurous shit. She does crazy things. And in the end, she's basically betrayed. Um, I feel like Allegra is, in a sense, all other females 
in the novels, like just uh, not not exactly the protagonist or like the characters that, that are um, the main characters that are significant in the novels, but she's just like any other female uh, during Austin time, Austin's time, who they didn't really care what they felt for the person. They just went into the relationship because of the money. So a lot of times these women were put on like on hold because the guy didn't give a f. So that's just like any other female because she just got cheated on basically. Like she got betrayed. Like she is not valued. Put it that way. And then we got Greg. Um, Greg, I like Greg because the way I described him was he is the thirsty mofo who has hopes a girl will like him. Essentially, he's, uh, he could be, oh shit, he could be the protagonist in any, any of Austin's books because he's like, I compared him to Darcy and Colonel Brandon because he's a dude that likes a girl that and the girl doesn't like him back but he has hopes because like in austin's books um the guy who no one really likes seems to find love like darcy no one liked darcy but then he found elizabeth and colonel brandon was put on hold and we didn't really get much about him and then he he ended up with um marianne so he's kind of like that he's the dude that no one really likes well i'm not saying no one really likes he's just a guy that wants a girl and he has hopes that he will find a girl because of the way that austin's books turned out since they were reading those novels um Connecting it back to our life or life in general, um, I feel like the significance or like the, the big takeaway that I took from um, this movie and uh, maybe what Austin was trying to do or maybe if, even if she was not trying to do what has happened because of her books, I feel that um, through the characters that Austin has, uh, many people of any, I'm not going to say any age, but many people like uh, of all types of people can connect to the characters that um, she has created in her novels and uh we can we can like compare ourselves to them like by the way we react or interpret things or view things uh like these characters like these six characters that it said that as time went on they developed characteristics that were very similar to uh, austin's characters and they reacted in very similar ways so it's um what i took away from this is that anybody can connect to uh, a character in, in a novel in general or austin's novels simply because of how they act and be very similar to the way we act or the way of behaving and everything like that so yeah um the, book, the, the movie was, was pretty cool, I guess. Like, I, I, I just like watching movies, but I'm telling you, like, I didn't really want to do this, want to watch this movie. But, yeah, uh, like I told you guys, I wrote some little bit of notes. So if I was looking down, I was reading that. Um, and, yeah, that's what I took away from the movie, that if you read a book, you can always create that connection with a character, um, depending on how you act, if they act similar to you, the way they view things. And, and yeah, so that's what I got from this one. And uh, I will do the next one, the Jane, Becoming Jane, Jane Austen or something like that. So, yeah, deuces.